What's going on YouTube? I hope that you are all doing really, really well. And I hope that you are all having a blast with Bitcoin right now, despite the fact that we are down significantly over the course of June and now in the first week of July. Have we tapped the bottom? Are we bottoming in or do we have lower prices yet to come? Check out this video. I'm going to give you a very short, concise, simple and easy to understand update on what is going on on Bitcoin and what do we need to reclaim, what levels do we need to reclaim in order for us to signal a sign of strength on the chart. Let's get straight into it. I will start off by saying that over the course of June, we have seen a significant retracement of 26% to the downside. Now, if you have been following this channel for a while, this should not really come as a surprise as I have pointed out multiple times in uh, in multiple videos prior to this one, obviously, that it is very common and very normal that at all time high region, we do see a period of consolidation. Uh, usually this does coincide with um, a few months uh, after the halving, normally we see some consolidation during the halving before we see an expansion. And then around that all time high region, we do see that consolidation period in this cycle. It is the price action is very much the same. However, the halving and that all time high does coincide with each other. However, the result is exactly the same because as we were breaching the all time high since March, I have been saying in multiple videos that there's a high likelihood for us to get some shakeouts, to get some sideways price action and to get some corrective or in technical trading terms, digestive price action. And now we are three months in that consolidation and we are seeing exactly that. Now I do see a lot of uh, worries arising in the market, a lot of um, technical analysis that uh, show that Bitcoin is starting to get bearish, that the cycle uh, top is in. Um, and to me, this all resonates with me a lot because I've seen the exact same thing uh, in previous all-time highs. Me being into the market, being trading Bitcoin and crypto for about six to seven years now on a daily basis. It is nothing new under the, under the sun for me. It is all the same. However, the real question is, we did broke down and changed that structure into a higher time frame downtrend and we have seen a weekly close outside of the sideways range that we've been in for a while to come that results in currently bitcoin trading in a downtrend which is at the moment still strong because we have seen well actually it started from here we've seen a low lower high lower low lower highs lower low lower high lower low once more now we have tapped um, uh, some levels well as a matter of fact i would actually like a little bit lower and let that brings me to two key levels that i have on for you today and those two key levels represent a significant region on the chart where price is meeting heavy resistance to the upside set at sixty two thousand dollars eight hundred and twenty six and then a, a level slightly lower than where we have bought thus far uh, sitting at $51,745. Now let me explain how I want to go about this level. For me, and the question is, can we go lower on Bitcoin? And is it the most likely that we are going to see lower prices? Well, in very short, to answer in a very short manner, the answer is yes, because we haven't changed that trend thus far. However, we did saw a big reaction over the weekend after hitting the low of more or less 52 or let's let's keep it at $53,000 and we have seen a significant bounce of almost 10% to the upside over the weekend. Then on Sunday we have seen a retracement potentially putting in a lower high and on our way at the moment to change that character presumably to the upside however it hasn't happened yet so as long as that is the case as long as this trend is down i deem it a very high probability that we're going to see another drop to the downside to test fifty one thousand dollars seven hundred and forty five because that is where i believe bitcoin has a high 
chance of bouncing. Not a guarantee, but it has a high chance of giving us a strong reaction because there's a lot of reasons to believe that that is a strong support zone and possibly the end of this entire digestive period, right? So that is a level that I am very much eyeing so And as long as we don't change even the local character, in other words, if we don't reclaim $58,500, then the probabilities remain ever so much the same to see those lower prices and to see that key level at least being hit. And I'm going to have to watch the reactions. What is going to happen in the order flow? Are we seeing extreme fear entering into the market that will help me making a new trading decisions at these levels now could this have been the low the answer is yes we could have the first sign of strength would be reclaiming that exact level as a matter of fact let me just map that out reclaiming that $58,500 that would signal an initial sign of strength let's say on the week but a real sign of strength where we can start to really safely assume that this was the low and the correction has ended we really need to see a reclaim of 62 63 thousand dollars just to keep the levels easy for you guys just to we need to reclaim that in order for us to see that trend reversal and really change that trend on the higher time frame to transition this downtrend started from seventy two thousand dollars all the way dropping to fifty four thousand um, dollars we need to see that level reclaimed over at sixty three thousand dollars in order for us to to start looking at this trend as a reversal where this downtrend now has changed to an uptrend back to an uptrend back to bullishness and potentially the end of a correction with where we can start really looking for all-time highs next however as you can see we are far from that at the moment where the probability simply remain um, higher to see another drop in price for lower prices where the next buying opportunity at least for me or the level of interest where I'm very interested in monitoring that price action seeing the reaction that comes from there in order to provide me with that really high quality setup at the at, at nearly the exact lows at least hopefully if, if we execute it well obviously you know that is the place where i would be looking for now lose the level then we start to need to uh, to to scale down even further and simply move to the next level and that is where that region right that region of the etf approval that we've seen back in january that is when those levels really start coming back into the play and that is when we're starting to talk about the lower forty thousand dollar levels but at the moment we are still above fifty thousand dollars yet below $60,000. So those are the levels that I have for you today. Those are the key levels that you need to be aware of that can signal either weakness, strength, reclaim, change of character, and possible trading opportunities. I hope you've truly enjoyed this quick concise and accurate bitcoin update if you like these kind of videos please leave a like and subscribe and if you're learning if you want to learn how to trade this how to execute those trades um, and want to have real-time updates uh, about the market and how i am trading that then consider joining our trading community over at thrive labs io links in the description below or in the banner below this uh, in the screen over here Hopefully see you soon, and if not, then see you very soon for a new episode of Crypto Currents. Cheers, goodbye.